Well, well, well. Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody doing tonight? I'm just going to pop into Twitch, make sure everything's working all right, and then I'm coming through nicely. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dun, 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 dun. So how is everybody's Friday? I, let me tell you, I cannot be happier. I don't have to work tomorrow, which is wonderful. I've had to work every Saturday for the last many weeks. So it'll be nice to have a whole weekend to myself for once, which means Friday stream time. Okay, so... In the meantime, all right, I'm going to have Twitch on my phone. It's down to less than 50% battery power, so hopefully it lasts for the stream. I'd like to get in a good uh, two hours tonight. Okay, let's go back to the Sutherian Stellar Coalition. Pick up where we left off, which, honestly, I don't remember where that is. <laughs> it's been a while. We didn't play it last week. Uh, I think the last time we jumped on the Sutherian Stellar Coalition was about two weeks ago. So, I'm just going to zip around, double check what the status is of um, the Empire and whatnot. What do we got here? There's a peace offer. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I remember now. We're in the south parts of the galaxy. I recall that. That's easy to remember. But these Majeti Reclaimers were a fallen empire that have now awakened. And they started beating the crap out of the Inari Hegemony. And they and the Inari Hegemony wound up seeding a whole bunch of planets in this section in these sectors here. So the Hegemony got pretty badly pooped on. And if we take a look, just about everybody except the Majeti Re Reclaimers. And the Wall Hub conserv conservers. Well, the Zaxoan Collective is actually equivalent to us because they have superior technology level. That doesn't really surprise me. But they have inferior fleet power and naval capacity. So, if we were to totally break out from our League of Excellence with them, we could still, probably still kick the crap out of them. But the Wall Hub conservers are grossly superior in technology level. Uh, and equivalent fleet power, inferior naval capacity, though. But the Mangetti Reclaimers, they're still superior in just about every way, except naval capacity. So they're in good. They've awakened. We don't really want to piss them off. So the Inari Hegemony and the Lachak State, I have wanted to get rid of them, more or less. Maybe vassalize. I don't really know what term I want to use. <laughs> What is building on here yeah, again? Power. Ministry of Benevolence. Oh, okay. That's right. This is being converted because that is the... What is it? The, the, the capital world. Um, Rehi. Okay, so check out our latest planets. The Yarrick Dockyards now has full... Power plants, so we're kosher there. How about Yarek Science? Eh, engineering facilities, we're doing good there. Okay, we're researching our plasma throwers, which is good, but we're moving on to the repeatables for our kinetic weapons. So imp we're improving the efficiencies of our kinetic weapons, which we need to do. So that's good. Um, let's see, where are the armadas? 
They're over here. Oh, that's right. We're at war with the Cimmerian nation, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are at war with the Sutherian Stellar Coalition, the Isravenar Confederation, the Zaxolan Collective, the Andagonge Alliance, the Chinor Stellar Union, and the Mythfell Union. Big collection of our friends that they are currently at war with. We hope the lives lost in this war will teach you the value of what you are throwing away. How about you bite me? Okay, so let us continue. I'm going to put it back to slowest speed for a second here. Just to make sure that I am largely up to speed on what's going on. What are we doing for our traditions? I believe we adopted supremacy because we're going to... Um, we're going to if we complete this tradition tree, we'll be able to get a pretty nice bonus to our overall fleet's fire rate of 15%, which isn't too bad. Plus, there's a couple... Nice things there. The star nation formerly known as the Inari Stellar Hegemony has been destroyed by its enemies. How this will affect the political climate of the galaxy remains to be seen. Wow. Okay. Um, the Inari Stellar Hegemony. I don't recall that being a thing. Um, interesting. I go to war with them. Nobody nobody else really cares. That's depressing. Okay, so there should be... Uh, what do we got? We got a third armada here? What are they doing? Alright, everybody's kind of just chilling. Really? Alrighty then. Oh, you know what? I think what we were doing is we were put them, putting them all in one big fleet. And we were going to... What's here? We we're going to destroy these guys. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. I remember now. Do, do, do. And then we go do. And then we go merge. Yes, please. Now, which one do we want commanding this fleet? We're going to check, check them all out. So we got logistician with this guy. Um, if we go to the people tab, we can see what all their bonuses are. Let's just pause the game really quick here. Uh, unyielding, so 10% extra ship hull points. It's synthetic, so 15% extra fire rate and reduced fleet upkeep, which is actually pretty good. Uh, increased weapons range and also increased fire rate, but the fire rate bonus there is only half as much as, the, as with the synthetic leader, which would be pretty dope. And then this one, lead, increased leader lifespan, eh, I don't really care for that, so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to do this one because with the fleet logistician, um, it actually uh, will reduce our energy consumption from our fleets flying around and killing people. Which, if you didn't notice right at the beginning, it was actually negative. The Zammerpuck Compact has ended their rivalry with the Andagonge Alliance. Okay, that's good to know. So, let's continue. We need, we need the Construction Admiral to arrive with the fleet. What just got finished? The Ministry of Benevolence. I see... What does this do again? Maintenance 6.3. Okay, well, that just reduced our... Well, that sucks. Empire modifier. Got an ethics attraction. Unrest minus 10. It's not bad. Administrative operations. Okay. Did this help with any of the unrest on these planets? Eh, a little bit. Still got a lot of armies that are trying to stave off the unrest, but it's not working out so well. So what do we got here? We got a whole bunch of battleships and corvettes in our in our armada. Very interesting. So what was the Inari Stellar hegemony? That one I wasn't able to figure out, but you know what? It's fine. I'll let that slide. What do we got here? We got another enemy fleet. Oh, transport fleets. Okay. So those aren't necessarily a threat whatsoever. 
Now, the real question is where? There it is. There's the Ether Drake. I want to go fight this guy. Kick the crap out of him. Okay. So, did we get our leader changed out? Uh, available. Boop. Come on. Hmm. Maybe we just have to give it a bit of time. I noticed that the time passage in this game, it's slowed down significantly compared to, like, one of my other games, for example. But, uh... Yeah, I think it's just because there's so much stuff going on now. Which is cool. We're at that stage in the game. That's fine. Build some mining stations, my boy. It's Ravenar Confederation. I forgot about those guys. That's one of the little... the yeah, Ravenar Consortium. Those are two of the little bits that rebelled. Right, because of all the unrest. All the unrest that I keep causing. They don't like me very much. But you know what? I don't care. There is a Cimmerian nation fleet in here. Oh, really? It claims there is, but it's just some science ships, Research so complete. what am I worried about? Research complete. What do we got? Plasma throwers. Finally done. Good, 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 dude. Um, so let's do... Plasma accelerators. Plasma launchers are pretty dang good. Alright, this was supposed to change modus, but let's try splitting the fleet and see what happens. Okay. Manage. Recruit this one. Busy commanding, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no problem. And then this one. Badoop. There. There you go. Okay, manage. There we go. Multi-select, multi-select. Let's see if this works. Merge. There we go. No leader assigned. That works. Arriving in six days. Okay, so what is that guy doing then? Range. I think, screw it, I'm just going to put this person there because they have a logistician trait and I kind of need that right now. But I don't really, I don't know, whatever. Now, how about this Helven Star Realm? What's our situation with them? Am I at war with them? Oh, yep. So we're at war with the Camarian Nation and the Helven Star Realm because they are in... Uh, oh, I thought they were in the Harmonious Alliance together, but I guess not. Where is the other one in the Harmonious Alliance? The Zemmerpuck Compact. So we are at war with the Zemmerpuck Compact. But they're way over there, so we're not terribly worried about them right now. Alright, well, I'm bored, so it's time to smash things. I need to uh, take a look at ship design again for a second. What did we have for battleships? I believe we had the Mega Class and the Shogun, cl the Shogun Class, right? End of the hierarchy of e track has been destroyed by its em enemies. I don't even know what that is. Hostile station engaged. Ooh, hostile station. Really? Alright. Let's see what happens in this system, Mang. I don't know if you noticed, but it's the Mang system. Yeah. Here we go. Bang, bam, 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 bam. Look at him go. Hmm. 
Situation log updated. That station held up for quite a bit, actually. I was surprised. Okay, where did their fleet go? They had a military fleet here. And now it's gone. Did I take too long? I think I did. Too much dicking around and they've since moved their combat fleet. Alright, well, whatever. Um, okay, so what would it take to move these guys over here? Wow, that's interesting. The real question is, where is their capital? And it's over here, I'm guessing? I missed it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Cam Decor. I think I've already beaten the crap out of it, though. Haven't I? This is Transport Fleet 20. Yeah. Didn't I already occupy this? Yep. Let's land them all, just for funsies. <laughs> Okay, so let's send our fleet over, take on this Ether Drake, and see just how strong it really is. Ooh, what was this? Frontier Outpost. Whoa, there they are. Construction complete. Hostile fleet oh, you engaged. Clever bastards. This will not go well. Ooh, look at those tachyon lances. I think it's safe to say that uh, the transport fleet is going to get annihilated. I can't believe I didn't notice that. Well, we just got... We just got duped. He gave us the old jukity juke. Alright, here we go. Our fleet's coming in. Let's pause this. Loader efficiency. There we go. Okay, now let's do some high density munitions. Yes. Increase. We increase fire rate. Now let's increase weapon damage. Yep. That's it. 20th transport fleet is gone. That is unfortunate. Do I have any army, armies left here? Yeah, there's quite a bit. Let's see what's happening. In the war to end all wars, this could be it for the Camarian nation. Definitely should be. Oh, I am losing corvettes. No battleships have been destroyed yet, thankfully. But this could change. See what's happening here. The enemies are getting shredded. All of our corvettes are gone, but they are starting to lose some of their smaller ships as well. They're down corvettes big time as well. There go their tachyon lances. Man, I love how those guns look when they fire. That's awesome. They're losing battleships and cruisers pretty quickly now, though. Look at them go. We have lost a battleship of our own. There goes a few more battleships. Look at them drop. Their destroyers. Their destroyers have come in range and they are getting taken out by these smaller weapons now. Two more. Three more battleships. Four more battleships gone. Down they go. Dropping like flies now. We've only lost the one battleship. Situation log updated. There goes all their cruisers. And that's it. That was an interesting battle. Holy crap. Okay, let's see if there's a science ship somewhere nearby. Well, this guy needs a friggin' scientist. Okay, you get back to assisting with the research there. Okay, I need somebody that's close. And that's fairly close. Okay. So, we'll get you going. There's a lot of debris in that system, so yeah. We'll start with that. 
There's lots on the way there too. Tell you what, do this one first because that's probably going to run out sooner. Then you can do uh, this one and this one and then head back to this one. That'll work. Okay. So we, we lost a battleship. Sucks, but that's okay. Research complete. We can, we can come back stronger. So we've got some friendly ships in here? Really? No way. What do we got? Plasma accelerators. Okay, now we can do plasma cannons. Ooh, shield harmonics would be pretty good too. Plasma cannons. There we go. Uh oh. Did not like the sound of that very much. Situation log updated. What's happening here? Ooh. There we go. We finally changed out the frickin' Admiral. Jeez. Why was that such a pain in the ass? Whatever. Okay, and once... Where is this science ship? Why are you just chilling here, not doing anything? Ooh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, okay, first armada. Let's see. They should be beating up on these. Yep, that's exactly what's going on. Boom, boom. Updated. All right, so let's take the first armada. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and take this little thingy out just for shites and geigles. Then on to the ether drake. Talent acquisition done. All right, that's not too bad. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Leader lifespan, army damage. Eh. I'll do leader lifespan. Why not? Okay, so where is that science ship? Uh, nope, that's the wrong one. Where's the one that I sent to... Is this the one that I sent? Yeah, it is. Man. I'm an idiot. Let's try that again. You need to go there right meow. Uh-oh. Ooh, I got a small fleet coming in. Oh, that's because it's a single battleship. Really? Go take him out, please. His presence is not wanted. Oh, that's not a battleship. That's a cruiser. I'm afraid this will not go well for you. Or you guys, for that matter. Where are these reinforcements coming from? It's not like they're going to do anything. I think my fleet forgot how to fly. <laughs> All right, then. Well, Whatevs, so long as my science ship can get left alone, <laughs> no complaints. Okay, so where's our fleet now? Should be on their way to the Ether Drake. Let's change that up. 
That's right, we had them sit there at the home world because there were ships on the way. All right, back on track. Look at these reinforcements just pouring in. I think they're coming from the Zemmerpuck Compact. Maybe. I don't know. What do we got going on here? Get wrecked? Well, it's going to be an interesting, interesting day, that's for sure. All right, where is my science ship? There we go. Nice. Good stuff. That's what I want to see. That is what I want to see. Get them all blowed up. Mass extinction, broken planet. Situation log updated. Really? That's interesting. I can't believe we didn't finish this. What the heck? Cam Decor is now walled off from us because they got a couple ships in there. Not much, just two cruisers and a Corvette. But oh, never mind. There's more than that. <laughs> Situation Still, it's updated. enough to stop our. It's enough to stop our science ships from going in there and researching those debris uh, projects. Debris so analyzed. that's perfectly fine. Got a lot of physics research out of that. That's interesting. Oh, Alien ooh, very nice. Engaged. What do we got? Alien spaceport engaged. Oh, what are you Situation doing, boy? Updated. Get out of here. Oh man. Situation log updated. <laughs> just look. Just ah, oh, I love the look of that. That looks so. I mean, I like the Situation look of, the, of tachyon lances and lasers. I like how cool it looks when a whole bunch of tachyon lances and laser weapons are shooting. But I gotta admit, it is pretty cool seeing all these ballistics just go pow, 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 pow. Especially at such long ranges. I don't know. Call me weird. Keep having these tiny little fleets of like four ships here, eight ships there, just kind of moving around, doing who knows what. Debris analyzed. What do we got here? Victory. We have won the war with the following demands. Peace offer. The Mythfell Union made peace with the Helven Star Realm. Ah. Very interesting. Alright, so. Ether Drake encounter. The creature observed in the Upfarva system is unlike anything the First Armada has previously encountered. Highly aggressive and with destructive capabilities to match. It guards a planetoid that initial scans indicate is exceptionally resource rich. Ominous. Dun dun dun. Here we go. So, here's our fleet. 69 battleships remaining. They're a little bit beat up, some of them, I think. Not very much.
excuse me. So, goal here is to cross our fingers and hope that our mighty fleet of battleships can take on and defeat the Ether Drake. Love how big this thing is. All right, let's do this. Never had one of these Leviathan showdowns go on before. So let's slow things down. Here we go. Bam, 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 bam. Look at all that damage pouring out. Boom, 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 boom. Has this guy even attacked yet? I'm not sure. Oh, there it goes. Holy crap. Now that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> and it's got these little plasma cannon looking things too. That's so cool. Get it, Giga cannons and kinetic artillery are just doing a boatload of damage to it. And he's just soaking it up. We've lost one battle cruiser. Battleship. Well, let's see. What else is going on? There's some stuff happening in the meantime. United Helven Commonwealth. Hmm. Helven Star Realm and the United Helven Commonwealth. Interesting. Federation Association offer in our hegemony and the United Helven Commonwealth. Really? These guys cropped up because we liberated these planets, didn't they? Yes, they did. Huh. Crazy. But we have a battle to watch. Where are we? There we are. So I'll tell you what. Resume. Look at this guy, just being a champion. I'll take all the fire! <laughs> Concentrate all fire on that Super Star Destroyer! Whoa. What is it? Oh, man. Is it shooting at something, or is it drawing energy from it? It's tough to tell. Got to be getting weak by now, though. Come on. There we go. Gain access to, to, to the Empire Unique Building Dragon Slayer Monument. The formidable Aether Drake has been slain. The exceptional bravery of Admiral Unit LFA-5 and the First Armada will not soon be forgotten. Planetoid the beast guarded it and so jealously can now be safely exploited. Who knows what treasures the creature might have amassed over the eons. That's cool. Right on. Good job, team. Only lost one battleship. I'm very happy with that. Alright, so now what do we do? Let's get a science ship. Uh... I'm going to say ditch the debris analyses. And just get over here and survey the system, please. So we're going to leave our military fleet here. Just to kind of protect um, this system. To kind of assert our privilege. <laughs> so let's take a look. See, the Helven Star Realm. Debris analyzed. Got here too, Camarian Nation. <laughs> so how did the I wonder how all of our friends feel? Oh the Chinor Stellar Union is now equivalent with us. That's pretty cool. They've been grossly inferior like the whole game up until recently. Nice. Okay, so we can actually, uh... Hmm. Can't really do anything with these guys right now. That sucks. Hmm. 
<laughs> Let's start insulting the Zaxoan Collective, because that's a good idea, right? Science ship under attack. Evading oh no, that's not cool. Science ship lost. Well, that sucks. Son of a bitch. I guess that's what I get for not really paying attention, yeah? Let's get this guy out of a slippy. You need to go and survey this system, boy. Let's do it. And you know what? We've got room to build more of build up more of our fleet. So, where are the dockyards? We've got the Theglin shipyards. Let's build more Mega Class, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. So, we'll get one, two, three, four, five. I'm pretty sure Theglin Mining has another spaceport for building battleships. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. And what was the other one? The Yarrick Dockyards. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, okay. Out of minerals. My calculations were off. Way off, actually. What am I doing? That's fine. That's fine, though. We're building 12 more. It's acceptable. got full influence right now, so why don't we have a look around? Me. <laughs> Victory against the Camarian Nation. Yeah, no kidding. And Yarrick Science, so we do Spirit of Science. And what's the Yarrick Dockyards is doing energy, so let's do capacity overload. Rehe, eh, Spirit of Science, why not? Phineas, Spirit of Science. Not much science coming out of these spots, but enough to make me want to use the Spirit of Science Edict. Thiglin Shipyards, yeah, a little bit more science, why not? Well, Slippy Mining, let's do, oh, and we're out of influence, good. Okay. Research complete. Camarian Nation is now our tributary. The United Helven Commonwealth has asked to be vassalized by the Zexoan Collective. Okay, that's interesting. There's a rivalry between the Anagonge Alliance and the Lachak State, finally. Now there's a rivalry between the Z Lachak State and the Zemmerpuck Compact. Defensive Pact Invitation between the Helven Star Realm and Zem Zemmerpuck Compact. Interesting. Federation Association, Association offer. Okay, so the Helven Star Realm, which has been largely independent this whole time, might just join the Just Concord at some point. We'll see. Plasma Cannons is finally done. Oh, we can get the Spinal Mount Archimeter. I have never 
use this. Um, just because it's so kind of finicky. Because if you look there, it says it has 100% accuracy and tracking with 100 range, so it's pretty, pretty good. But the damage ranges from 1, and I mean 1, to 184, so it's entirely possible that you do no damage. Or, like, extremely little damage, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Ion Disruptors. Now, should have a science ship en route. Where is it? There it is. It's, it's getting there. It's getting close. Let's see what happens when we do this thing with the dragon's the dragon's horde. I'm liking where we're sitting right now. Our like individually, our empire might not be the power in the galaxy, but our um, federation. Oh yeah, our federation definitely is. Look at all these ships. I like the look of these ships. Look at the triple artillery battery on the top, right in that middle section there. It looks so cool. I love the detail in this game. I really do. And then here is one with a mega cannon. You can tell because it's got the four flak batteries on the very top there. The flak artillery. Good for shooting down incoming missiles, enemy strike craft. Smaller ships like Corvettes, etc., etc., etc. Of course, other strike craft could do that, like fighters or something. That could do that too. Ooh, what do we got? Dragons hoard 30 energy and minerals per month. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, man. I I wish I could get a frontier outpost out there, but that's not going to be possible. Within someone else's borders. Well... I'm not sure we can change that. All right, what would be another good one? Um, System survey hmm. complete. We'll do sentient resource management. More leaders isn't exactly a bad thing. Okay, time for you to go back to Oslippy Science, which is over here. We go. Oh, slippy science. Back to assisting research, please. Okay, well, that was interesting. Let's go ahead and get back to kicking the shit out of the Latchak state if we can. Do, 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 do. Yeah, those guys are going to vote no, but you know what? I don't care. Still going to do this. Oh, what do we got? What's happening? Rivalry between the Zaxoan Coll Collective and the Inari Hegemony. Good. What do we got? The Zemmerpuck Compact. Really? You want some of our swag? Construction complete. Um, you know what? Screw you. Bugger off. I don't like you. Hmm, terror in Chaita again. Shocker. Okay, so first armada. You guys need to return to the nearest spaceport, which is right over there in Yaragana. Well, it doesn't really look like anybody's dropped by to uh, 
check out the stream and chat, which is unfortunate. But, um, I'll take it as a sign. I, I'll admit I am quite fatigued. This week has been very, very trying. Um, at work, so... Um, you know what? I need to pause the game, build a colony ship in Yaragana Power, and colonize this planet. Can I do that even though it's in another person's territory? Probably not. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's fine. And there's no other system nearby that I can build a frontier outpost or anything like that. That's fine. Research that is complete. fine. Nice. High density munitions. That's what I wanted. Um, let's have a look see. Uh, how about extraction patterns for additional mineral generation? That's always nice to have. Um, anyways, so yes, nobody's 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 really uh, here and nothing's really going on so I'll tell you what we'll um, I'll shut the stream down in about 15 minutes we took out the ether drake which I have never done before okay so they want monthly urantic crystals they're going to give us about 2000 minerals meh whatever sure take them I don't need them hmm. Hmm. Man, they're still building those battleships. This is going really slow. Let's build two more there. Our research agreement is gone with the Miss Ravenar, whoever. Disruptors is almost done. Well, let's just find a spot to put the camera and let uh, let time continue. Ninety-five percent bonus. Research complete. Ooh, there we go. Ion disruptors. Now, what do we want? Um, phase disruptors. Yeah. Okay, and these guys are all repaired now. Good. Do I need to upgrade them to latest designs? 40 ships will be upgraded for 200 minerals. Why is that going to happen again? Please remind me. So I know it's it's it would be because I researched something. I'm just not 100% clear what. So something got upgraded. Maybe it was the shield emitters. Or was it the jump drives? Hmm. Stubborn. Huh, that's reassuring. Eh, it doesn't matter what it was. Let's go ahead and upgrade 42 ships now. Okay. Ships upgraded. Incoming transmission. I wonder where we can build that. Oh, these guys want to give us energy credits for monthly uranium crystals? No, go away. I don't need energy credits. I don't know if you noticed. Um, let's try replacing where is the Dragon Slayer Monument. It produces 15 unity. Holy. Okay, so let's take a look at 
Um, maybe we can build it on reheat just for shits and giggles. Yeah, let's replace a hydroponics farm. I'm gonna do that. Boop. I wonder, is this still bugged? Let's find out. Let's try it that way. Maybe it'll make the thing go away. Ships upgraded. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it still says I can upgrade them. Construction eh. complete. The more I play, the more I think that's a bug. But it is what it is. Look at that. 25 unity. So we've got 15 from the monument itself. The hypercoms form gives it another 10%. Scientist Timophon, I believe, who was elected. Maybe that's the leader of the planet. Yeah, looks like it. Um... Looks like it was a um, person who was elected into leadership of the Empire. So, Scientist Timophon, plus 15%. And then we've got the Ministry of Culture and the Auto Curating Vaults, which give plus 10% each as well. And the F and Federation members, plus 25%. We get more unity because of all of our Federation members. Wow. Active Sensor Links. Mm, yeah, you know what? It's good. He's giving us a little bit of minerals for an active sensor link. Sure. Maybe if you're uh, being less of a cunt. They are our subject right now. Construction complete. That's interesting. Okay, so are we done building our battleships? We've got two more coming down the pipe, and then that's it. So we can actually build a few more. Yarrick Dockyards, let's get you building... Construction complete. Uh, let's just have you building two. Let's get Theglin Mining building two. And then Theglin Shipyards building two. Well, we can do a third, actually, and we can do a third at Theglin Mining as well. There we go. Depleted our stock of minerals yet again. You know what I need to do is do propaganda broadcasts on these s scientific worlds because that increases the production even further. Not much going on. We're over 200 years in. The Majetti Reclaimers are slowly expanding. Very slowly. <laughs> Being sarcastic, of course. They're actually expanding pretty fast. Taking over that whole corner of the galaxy already.
One more Mega Class Battleship, why not? Incoming transmission. Well, what do we got now? Um, United Health and Commonwealth. They want to give us energy credits? No, go away. Don't need that. You know what I could use? Is another... Another system. And do we have anything... Would be good to colonize in the expansion in the expansion planner with good. Um, a good planet modifier. Let's find out. Is this planet tidal locked with reduced habitability? Okay. We'll just let our fleet build up a little bit more and we're going to reposition them over to here. that they are within striking distance of the Inari hegemony. So we can take them out. Lachak State as well. The Menjeti Reclaimers. I wonder if I can go to war with these guys. <laughs> That's Incoming depressing. Transmission. Can I declare war? Let's uh, stop atrocities, seed planets. Oh wow, we could totally declare war on these guys. No, nope, but we're gonna we're gonna cancel that right now. Don't want to do it just yet. Uh, you want to give us some minerals? Yeah, I'll take them. And here we go. First supremacy. Excuse me. First su supremacy tradition. Talking is hard. Okay. So, increased ship build speed and naval capacity increased by 10%. Yes, we'll take. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come again. All right. So, I'm actually going to stop there. So, let's go ahead and save the game. Super short stream tonight. Uh, wasn't really planned, but uh, nobody really came by tonight to watch, which uh, I guess kind of makes sense because I think by now people are more used to Coming by on Tuesdays, for those being my uh, Stellaris night. Um, but I am also, I'm also quite fatigued. I kind of want to go to bed a little earlier than normal. Because I've, I'd be normally going to bed by now. I have been for the last, oh geez, like month and a half since I got back from Hawaii. Because I had to work the next morning and be, and be at work by 6 a.m. So that means... Uh, Get out of bed no later than, no later than 4.30. <laughs> Don't have to do that this time, though, thankfully. But I think my biological clock is still messing with me, going, Hey, it's bedtime. you got to work tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks to those of you who dropped by tonight. Uh, I know it was, it was a short stream uh, this time around, but hopefully it'll be longer. Maybe I could do some more on the weekend. If you're watching this on YouTube and you enjoy my content, feel free to let me know in the comments like the video hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see some more also check the links in the description to go to my twitter page or my twitch channel 
This has been Mobius Y. Thanks very much for dropping by tonight, as I said earlier. And we'll see you guys next time.